Hello everyone, Troy here at the Pacific North Central. Um, I've had a couple of requests here to uh, show off my track plan. And um, I hope you guys can see this as this is actually drawn up on onion paper so it actually overlaps the other page. Um, once again, this is a, a multi deck layout. I'm actually going to start off here at the top level. And uh, over here we come up all the helix at this end. There's actually a turnout up over here. These two tracks right here have actually changed a little bit to go and get the look that we want. But um, basically what this does is as the train comes up, it'll come around up over here to the front. Right here we've actually added a turnout in. So one, one track will come across back towards the helix. It'll be a stub track goes back to an industry back up over here in this area and then on the other side there's another turnout that comes in it goes back up over here goes back to an ice house um, there will be a big river that comes up through here so as the train exits it will have its choice one in between the two but if it comes up it's basically going to be dropping cars spotting cars up over here to this side on its way back down if it has to spot cars, it'll actually have to come back down this track to spot cars over here at the ice house. So as we take off up all the helix, we'll head up over here to the gauntlet, which is uh, bridge number nine, which is Houston Bridge. And we'll come around this way, and it's over here. It stays off, comes around to the back side of the logging area, and all it basically does right here is it just makes a big loop coming around the logging area comes up, crosses over itself, there's a turnout right here where it splits itself off and on this pass right here it will actually stay up closer to the wall we will be crossing the river section right up over in here come across up over here the turnout for the branch line come up and around over the top of the helix back down this side this section right here is 11 foot from the wall out. And come back up over this way. Cross back up over itself again. And hit the same turnout again that just come up. So basically it's just a giant reversing loop is what this whole upper half of the layout is. But the, uh, the gauntlet and the, uh, the branch line turnout this turnout here and there's another turnout back up over here in this area that kind of hides everything from it being a, a, a reversing loop so the train will come back down around same path it came down but this time I'll come back down a different track I'll hit a turnout right up over in here come out to the outside edge of the, of the layout come all the way back up and around come back across on the other side of the gauntlet for Houston Bridge and come back down over through this way and then back up into the helix where we'll go down to the first level this side over here is all branch line logging uh, sawmill and stuff will be up over in here there will be a couple of industries up over here up above the helix there's a turntable that sits in which this is actually moved the turntable is actually sitting closer to the helix up over here um, this side over here is all logging, be nothing but switchback back up over in here. Be a couple of tracks that sit up right up over here on this side. So when the logging train comes in from this side, it actually has to come in through the branch line, hit the main line, and follow the main line through until it hits the actual spur for the logging. Or here inside the logging, you can come up one of two ways. This is another reversing loop, comes back this way, or else you can come back in here this way. So I can actually go ahead and be able to come up, shove the cars back up over inside of here, and then start up on a switchback going back and forth. Now I'll go ahead and get down over here to the first level. <clears throat> As we come back down, this level right here is pretty simple. There's really not that much to it right now at this point. There's actually another section that comes across up over here sits right up above the couch. This right here is actually 11 foot. It comes out from the wall out. And uh, so you come out of the helix, you have one of two choices. There's uh, two turnouts here and there's actually uh, one turnout that comes up this way. Then another turnout that comes back up over here 
to this area that hasn't been filled out yet. So as you come out, you can either come up and into the yard or come around to the front part of the layout and come up over here by the depot area. Depot sits right here. You come around the layout. There's another turnout that's actually been added in up over here. The whole yard has actually been changed. The turntable has been moved back up over here into the corner of the layout. And in order to go and get back to the turntable, you actually have to come in on this side to be able to go ahead and hit that turntable area or one of these three tracks, which these three tracks right here actually follow with the depot. So they'll actually come down this way. And this one right here is actually four tracks into the yard. That's now been changed down into three. And so we can go and get more stub tracks coming in up over here. So the feature of only having the three tracks right here is so that we can go ahead and have two trains waiting to go ahead and head out, one eastbound, one westbound, and the track to go ahead and be used for making up trains. So as you go ahead and you head back out, we'll come around over here to the other side of the layout. We'll go through a bit through a wall. This wall actually comes down the whole length, which this is 10 foot that comes down. It's an angled wall. And the reason why we made it angled is to go ahead and get this turntable area put back up over here inside this corner. Buy us a little bit more room. So it comes through the wall. This is actually the industry side of, uh, of the first half. There's a whole bunch of industries. There's a whole bunch of switching that comes through here. And then the train will be able to go ahead and leave. Come back up and around. There's another addition right up over here inside this area, which will be a power plant for a little bit more switching. Then the train can go ahead and come back down this way and go right back up over there to the upper half of the layout. This layout is actually 18 feet long. This end is 10 foot wide right here. And then this side over here is from the wall out is 11 foot. Minus 4 foot for the helix. It's a 22 inch radius helix. And this other lower section right here will be a bunch more switching it with a big with a bigger cityscape. And uh, back up over here will be more cityscape back up over here to try to hide these two lines right here. These two tracks right here actually uh, are supposed to go and give the appearance of having a double main line and which actually this is not a double main line layout it's just the appearance is what's going on down here. This turnout here is shown but this turnout that sits back up over here coming off the helix these are all hidden back up over here you don't see these just like the upper half you won't see that one and on the, on the top part of the helix and the, the turnout that sits right up over here in this area in the upper half you won't see that one right there either I forgot to point that right there out. Um, the purpose of this layout is to go ahead and be able to go ahead and run full operating sessions. Um, the, uh, the coal cars, the coal cars will actually come from the upper level from a coal mine up over there and they'll actually, the purpose of that is so that the cars will be able to go ahead and feed the branch line coal and the coal to the uh, to the power station and then the coal for the yard and then probably another industry down over here in the first level for coal also um, another thing is our <clears throat> is our logging industries um, all of our logging will actually all the fresh logs will come up all the logging area travel down the main into the branch line and over here to the logging company right where everything goes ahead and gets processed. Once the wood's been processed, the logs will actually leave, go back down as the train's made up. They'll actually go ahead and head back down to the main yard in the first level where the cars will actually go and get classified from there. And then them cars right there will actually get transferred into one of two places, which is either over here into the industry side for making pallets and stuff or back up over here. Um, the other thought was is for the logs to go ahead and after they got classified they left the lumber mill or anything after the cars got classified was to go and bring the log cars all the way back up to the top level back up over here to the top half of the helix which gives a little bit more switching and a little bit more run time. Um, I'm kind of thinking about putting in a some cattle so I can run some cattle cars up in there and be able to pull the cattle so that they'll get herded up over from the top section 
bring them back down over there to the bottom section back down over here um, by the city and stuff where they can go ahead and actually go ahead and hit a slaughterhouse and get processed and meat packing and stuff for the for the um, for the reefers um, I'm not exactly sure exactly all the plants and stuff for the reefers but the reefers will end up hitting a few different areas on the layout as well um, the plan is to go ahead and have uh, the classifications of cars to go ahead and be able to hit uh, two to three spots so that the cars aren't just going from point A to point B they got to go from point A to point B to point C and then back over to point A again so it, it gives a lot more for the operation for the operating sessions I don't know of any layout or any train that doesn't go ahead and go through more classifications than that they got to be able to get emptied, they got to get filled, they got to get classified and even after some stuff gets dumped off you know lumber is going to be hauled back out or cows can get hauled back out to go ahead and go to a store or a company or something else like that so that's what kind of one of the reasons why we're doing what we're doing over here and um, trying to go ahead and get this other spot up over here by the couch right here filled up but for right now the actual goal is to go ahead and get the upper half done and the reason being is I can go ahead and get the trains running up onto the logging area and over here on the branch line and then I can go and finish the first level as this section right up here in the top level is actually three foot wide it gets to be a little bit tough to go and reach when the bottom level is four foot wide so I come out a whole nother foot at the bottom this side over here is actual same as the top as it is on the bottom it's four foot and uh, it's actually seven foot from the edge of the helix to the end over here although it is eleven foot out from the wall and that's the same thing with the upper section with the branch line and the lower in the city line this side over here is kind of kitty wampus because of everything else that's going on up over here um, I hope you guys enjoy that's about it my uh, my dad's the one who actually designed this layout and uh, Kind of, he helped me out with all the uh, bench work and everything else and he spent a lot of time with this layout he wasn't too happy that he had to go ahead and drop a new layout because I ended up moving didn't have room for my old layout so we kind of had a downside so this layout is actually pretty small compared to what what I had before so I'm we're really hoping that this layout right here will work out we get the operating sessions in that we actually want and start running with with more guys inside the the layout room once when I go ahead and start getting more stuff here laid down um, right now for me right now the the time consuming thing is building all these turnouts there's a lot of turnouts that come through with the yard and in this area there's actually more turnouts that have been added to the yard more turnouts over here same thing with the logging area and the branch line so I guess we can actually say that I'm going to be a log or a uh, turnout building fool here for quite some time um, eventually here I'm going to work on a video for building turnouts um, just kind of a overview to try to help out some people I've had some requests for it so we're, I'm trying to fill out these requests here as soon as I can so this is uh, this is one request and I hope you guys really enjoy this and uh, I hope you guys like it um, feel free to go ahead and leave me any questions or comments or any ideas as far as what you guys are thinking um, changes I could possibly make to the layout as I'm very open to any kind of suggestions to this um, thanks again for watching thanks again for all of you guys who have subscribed to me all the guys in hangouts I, I you know there's just so many people to thank I, I just I can't think of you know every single name and I, I'd really hate to go and leave somebody out um, on any type of video or anything else like that so once again thanks to all who, have, who are watching this and and a, a very special thanks to my dad for the design of the layout without him you know I, I really couldn't do this he's he's helped me out so much with this um, mentally physically uh, uh, financially um, this layout's been really a, a tough change on me and and trying to go ahead and get this you know and, and get it up and running and I like to thank uh, my better half for putting up with my crap and spending all the time down here inside the basement but 
here we go again it's winter time so we're right back to layout season now and it's time to go ahead and build some trains and build a layout and see how far we can go ahead and get here this winter and uh, try to really put the hammer down I'm going to try my best here and, and get, be able to go ahead and start running some trains on the upper half of this layout and get down over here to the bottom so I can spend the summer kind of building up some turnouts and uh, try to get the bottom half done by sometime here next year I'm hoping um, once again feel free to go and leave any comments questions suggestions um, anything you guys want me to go ahead and go over um, any special requests for videos or anything else like that as I really not good at doing this kind of stuff so uh, yeah it's all going to go ahead and be helpful and I'll tell you what I myself would do I can't tell you guys how to do it or what the proper way is or improper way is or anything else like that um, so with that being said I I really hope you guys enjoy this and once again I'd like to really thank everybody who has watched this and and helped me out with hangouts and all my subscribers and everything else um, thanks again guys you guys rock without you guys I probably wouldn't uh, be as far as what I am right now you guys have really been pushing me and this is kind of what I need is that swift kick in the butt. So uh, thanks, guys, and I hope you guys enjoy.